Now the final type of coding solution that we're going to explore is artificial intelligence. Now quite topical at the moment and some of the concepts within artificial intelligence are very involved but a lot of them are relatively simple and can be well understood by students at a primary school level. So it is useful for you to explore some of the possibilities that students could use AI technologies to develop solutions to various problems. Now there are lots of different elements in this and many of them are done through examples whereby students might use language translation or image detection. Um, they might use tools such as generative text to generate responses and stories and so forth. But there are some more specific activities that students can do through programming where they can actually program um, applications using some AI technology that can solve various problems. Now the one that I'm going to um, for you to work through is an image detection program. Now this is used a lot in surveillance where it's detecting criminals from crowds. Uh, you could use it for detecting students for role marking um, and I've seen that done. But in this case you're going to just use it to detect whether or not someone is smiling or frowning. So having a good day or a bad day. And the point is to see just how quick and easy it is to train an AI system to be able to make that determination. And then once you've trained your model, you can have your family and friends come in front of the camera and it will detect whether or not they're um, happy or sad, smiling or frowning. Now, you could do this for any other set of classifications. You could have it detect the differences between um, dogs and cats or different vehicles. So you could set it watching a, a, um, a road and it would detect whether or not um, what different types of vehicles as they go past and make different counts on different sorts of vehicles. That might be useful in a student solution, say looking at parking and traffic issues um, during drop-offs. Or it may be having cameras set up to look at bins and seeing how often students drop items into the bin versus dropping it onto the ground next to the bin. That would be a relatively simple thing to train an AI model to do. It would only take a couple of minutes to train that. Link it up to a computer and a camera and you've got a reasonably powerful system for analysing um, litter behaviour in a school grounds. So lots of issues that can be explored and examined around the powerful nature of AI based programming. Now much of it will seem beyond the capabilities of, of primary school students, but they're not. And increasingly there'll be more tools developed that will allow students to develop solutions to problems using AI based technologies. But for now, have a look at the examples provided, try your own out and see what can be done in generating an AI based solution to a coding challenge. Now the final thing is to look at the overall set of, of coding based solutions that are available and think about how you can put them into a context that will engage your students. Teaching coding can be very dry, just like teaching mathematics can be very dry if you just teach it in terms of um, set processes and procedures and so forth. But contextualizing it, creating a story and a narrative around it, can make it much more engaging. So for example, setting the context around um, the Harry Potter books, where writing code and creating solutions is about creating spells and potions and solving magical problems and doing various things within a context that students find engaging and interesting, can make it much more enjoyable for the students Remembering though that not all students will necessarily be engaged by the same thing and you may need to differentiate in terms of providing a range of different contexts for your students so that they are each um, excited and enthused with the context that you provide them and are learning about solving problems 
for that context that are interesting to them and that they can ex explore and expand upon their coding capabilities.